Hello! In this video, we're going to look at the equations you need to be able to remember and use for AQA A-level chemistry. For moles and amounts of substance. Number of particles equals moles of particle times Avogadro's constant, where the value of Avogadro's constant is 6.022 times 10 to the 23. Moles equals mass divided by molar mass. Note that the units for mass must be grams, and molar mass, grams per mole. Moles equals concentration times volume. Note that the units for concentration are usually moles per decimeter cubed, and volume therefore should also be in decimeters cubed. To convert the more common volume unit of centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed, divide by 1000. PV equals NRT. This is the ideal gas equation, where P equals pressure in pascals, V equals volume in meters cubed, N equals number of moles, R is the universal gas constant, 8.31 joules per kelvin per mole, and T is temperature, in kelvin. Density equals mass divided by volume, where the units for density are based on the units of mass and volume. For example, grams per centimeter cubed. Atom economy equals relative formula mass of the desired product divided by the sum of the relative formula masses of all reactants, times 100. Percentage yield equals actual yield or mass of product obtained divided by the theoretical or maximum possible mass of product that could have been obtained, times 100. Relative atomic mass, AR, equals sum of each isotope mass times its percentage abundance, divided by 100. For energetics, enthalpy and entropy. Q equals mc delta T, where Q is energy change, m is mass, c is specific heat capacity, and delta T is change in temperature. Note that the units for Q can be either joules or kilojoules, depending on the units given for specific heat capacity. Temperature change can be in either degrees Celsius or Kelvin, as a change in 1 degree Celsius is the same as a change in 1 Kelvin. Delta H, change in enthalpy, equals sum of bond enthalpies of reactants minus sum of bond enthalpies of products. Sum of means add it all together. Delta H enthalpy change equals energy change Q divided by moles. Delta G equals delta H minus T delta S, where delta G is change in Gibbs free energy, kilojoules per mole, delta H is change in enthalpy, kilojoules per mole, T is temperature in Kelvin, and delta S is change in entropy. Note that the units of entropy are usually in joules per Kelvin per mole. However, in this equation, change in entropy must be given as kilojoules per kelvin per mole. Divide delta S by 1000 to do this. Delta S change in entropy equals sum of entropies of products minus sum of entropies of reactants. For equilibrium, Kc equals concentration of products times each other divided by concentration of reactants times each other each raised to the power of their molar ratio in the balanced reaction equation, where Kc is the equilibrium constant based on concentration. Concentrations should be in moles per decimeter cubed, and the units of Kc can be different depending on the reaction. Kp equals partial pressure of products times each other, divided by partial pressures of reactants times each other each raised to the power of their molar ratio in the balanced reaction equation, where Kp is the equilibrium constant for gases based on partial pressures. Partial pressures have the units of Pa, pascals. Mole fraction of a gas equals the moles of that gas in the system divided by the total number of all moles of gas in the system. Partial pressure of a gas equals its mole fraction times the total pressure, where pressure is in pascals. For rates of reaction, rate equals K times concentration of reactants times each other, with each raised to the power of the order of reaction with respect to the reactant. Where rate has units of mole per decimeter cubed per second, 
K is the rate constant, with different units depending on the reaction, and concentration is given in moles per decimeter cubed. K equals A times E to the power minus EA over RT. This is the Arrhenius equation, where K is the rate constant, A is the Arrhenius constant or pre-exponential factor, E is Euler's number, a mathematical constant, EA is activation energy with units of kilojoules per mole, R is the universal gas constant, 8.31 joules per kelvin per mole, and T is temperature in kelvin. The Arrhenius equation can also be given in the form lung K equals minus EA over RT plus lung A, lung being natural logarithm. For acids, bases and pH, Ka equals concentration of H plus times concentration of A minus, divided by concentration of HA, where Ka is the acid dissociation constant, A minus refers to conjugate base ions of the weak acid HA, and concentrations are given in moles per decimeter cubed. pKa equals minus log to the base 10 Ka, and Ka equals 10 to the minus pKa. Kw equals concentration of H plus times concentration of OH minus, where Kw is the ionic product of water and has a value of 1 times 10 to the minus 14 at 298 Kelvin. pH equals minus log to the base 10 concentration of H plus ions and concentration of H plus ions equals 10 to the power minus pH. For electrochemistry, E cell equals E reduction minus E oxidation, where E cell is the electromotive force or EMF of an electrochemical cell. E reduction is the standard electrode potential for the cathode of the cell, and E oxidation is the standard electrode potential for the anode of the cell. Conditions for standard electrode potentials are 298 Kelvin, 1 mole per decimeter cubed concentration, and 100 kilopascals of pressure. For chromatography, RF equals distance travelled by sample divided by solvent front, where the solvent front is the distance travelled by the solvent. RF or retention factor values have no units. Other equations, percentage uncertainty equals absolute uncertainty divided by the measured value times 100. Delta E, change in energy, equals Planck's constant times frequency, where Planck's constant is 6.62 times 10 to the minus 34 joules per second, and frequency is hertz. Speed of light C equals frequency times wavelength, where speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, frequency is hertz, and wavelength is meters. Initial volume times initial concentration equals final volume times final concentration. This can be useful for calculating volumes needed for dilutions. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out other relevant videos in the description below and visit chemistrystudent.com for free notes and resources.